It's because people are taking more and more medications, supplements, and over-the-counter drugs. So how to protect yourself? CBSN New York's Dr. Max Gomez tells us about an app that can help. Modern medicine has made amazing advances. There are now medications to treat all sorts of ailments, some of which you may not even know you had. Add in the proliferation of dietary supplements, herbal remedies, and over-the-counter drugs, and you're looking at a potentially serious problem. Uh, patients will go to different physicians, uh, different pharmacies, and that kind of lends itself to this, this situation where we're more prone to have a drug drug or an adverse reaction to a medication. Dan Johnson is a pharmacist with ScriptSave WellRx. He explained that drug interactions don't have to be toxic to be serious. An interaction can raise the blood level of another medication or lower the, uh, the concentration of that drug in your bloodstream, causing uh, too much effect or not enough effect of the other medication. I do, I actually take two medications every day. Those two medications Kyle Kahn takes every day do not interact with each other, but he worries if he needs to take something else for a headache or a cold, for example. There's always the thought of will this interact, interact in a negative way with the drug that I'm taking already. So Kyle is taking to using a free app on his smartphone called ScriptSave WellRx. He sure keeps his regular meds in a virtual medicine cabinet. Then anything new he takes is automatically checked against everything else in the cabinet. And what do you know? Turns out both ibuprofen and aspirin he wanted to take for a headache are flagged as having a moderate interaction with his regular meds. There are other ways to check for drug interactions on the web, of course, but they can be time-consuming and awkward to use, especially if you're taking multiple medications. It's just easier. The WellRx app also color codes and ranks the interactions from mild to moderate to severe and even explains the issue to you. Dr. Max Gomez, CBSN, New York.